welcome to this episode of IDIS Technology Bytes. In this episode, we will review how to configure the IDIS Center VMS software. IDIS Center is the free, fully featured video management system that works seamlessly with our DirectIP NVRs and DirectCX HD TVI TVRs. IDIS Center is a standalone client derived from our flagship IDIS Solution Suite Enterprise platform. With IDIS Center, all video recording is done on the NVR and IDIS Center can connect to multiple NVRs across multiple sites. The setup interface can be initiated either by System Menu and selecting IDIS Center Setup or by double-clicking on the green button in the top left corner. All configuration is performed through this one unified interface. In IDIS Center, a device is usually an NVR or TVR and devices are added to the software in the All Devices section. Once devices are added to the system, then other items may be configured using the connected cameras for example, maps, layouts, and sequences. To add a new device to the system, simply click on the plus sign. Devices may be added using traditional IP addresses or auto-scan within the same subnet. However, a much easier method is to use IDIS Fend service, as we learned in the NVR configuration. If UPnP is enabled on the network, then no port forwarding is required and the Fend service simplifies device to client side network configuration. Using Fend simply requires the device Fend name to be entered. Click Start Scan and IDIS Center communicates with the Fend server to locate the NVR device. Once the device is found, it can be registered to the system after entering the valid credentials. The new NVR will now appear in the device list. The device attributes can be edited at any time by the Edit Device command. This includes updating of device login information and activating real-time monitoring for the Instant Events window. We also use this interface to configure device groups. Device groups are logical groups of cameras that are combined in a group for easy access during monitoring. For example, cameras may be grouped per building floor or building location. The cameras within a group are not necessarily connected to the same NVR device. To create a new group, click the plus sign and name the new group. From the device tree, select the cameras to be included in this group. A camera is not limited to a single group and can be added to multiple groups if required. Once the new group list is defined, Click Save and the new group will appear in the group listing. The new group may now simply be dragged into a layout to view the cameras. Layouts define the size and placement of individual camera panes in the viewing window and may also contain pre-assigned cameras similar to groups.
To define a new layout, select the camera pane format desired and drag cameras from the site tree into the panes. Name the new layout and it can now be dragged into either a live view or play window. Maps are highly programmable and are configured here in a similar way. To define a new map, click the plus sign and the interface starts with a blank canvas. You will need a background image of some kind. This can be a drawing, photo, or Google Map image of the relevant site. Once the background image is loaded, cameras can be dragged from the site tree as before. Both the event and attribute property of each camera icon can be configured. A camera view overlay can also be defined to represent the physical view of the camera. Note that multiple maps may also be linked, providing a map within a map functionality. The new map will now appear in the site tree and can be dragged into any camera pane. Clicking on a camera icon will display the relevant camera video. Users and user groups are defined here. These are access rights and permissions for any person using this computer workstation. These settings control user access to individual devices as well as program features. New individual users are defined here. Panic Recording provides a limited and temporary local recording functionality to IDIS Center. The purpose of Panic Recording is to temporarily allow all currently displayed cameras to be recorded to the local hard disk during duress or an emergency event. Panic Recorded video can be accessed via the red Panic button in the site tree. The remaining sections of IDA Center setup are related to the program environment options. IDA Center can be configured to start automatically and even load a default layout during computer reboot. Each user may configure the interface layout to suit them.
workstation graphics environment may be configured here. Note that some features of IDA Center will require DirectX and OpenGL capabilities. The event panel keeps a rolling log of all system events to assist the user in identifying events. Event sounds can be configured here. Users may use custom event sound files if required. Network port configuration is defined here. In order to use a network keyboard, the control port should be defined correctly. The map environment is defined here. Users can define event pop-up dwell time and the focusing duration for map events. The browser start page can be defined here and may also be changed in the actual browser window. Well, that's it! Thank you for watching and please see our other videos for more information on IDIS products.